Open Season TV, brought to you by Dead Ringer Hunting. No matter where we are, we keep the calls ringing, the bulls on knocking, the 12 gauge singing, through the reeds and the swamp and the trees and the heartland. Well, it's a way of life and it's what we love. Folks right here can't get enough of that open season. Bucks and bulls and full camouflage from a duck. We're gonna track them all when they break it down Yeah, they better keep one eye open while they're sleeping Cause it's open season Yeah, and it's open season Bucks and bulls and full camouflage from a duck This week I'm heading to Colorado to hunt with Brian Clark and High Voltage Outfitters. opportunity to hunt with a rifle, hunt mule deer with a rifle. No, I, I put in for an archery tag and didn't get drawn, but luckily Brian was able to find me a landowner tag, went right along with my elk hunt, so I was going to hunt mule deer with a rifle for the first time. Should be fun. Well, it's mine and Brad's first night here in Colorado. We're hunting with Brian Clark High Voltage Outfitters. We're hunting mule deer and elk. The elk hunt's gonna be pretty hard. They're all the way down the bottom in the rivers and they're actually on private property and they're all herded up. So we're hoping they bust up, maybe we get on one. But until then, we're gonna hunt mule deer. Brian's been scouting, he's gone some good bucks. We just need one of them to play along and we'll be able to get it done. Covert. Code black pictures anytime, anywhere. I thought we were checking trail cameras. I have been. This one. Nah, blue's better. You're gonna regret that. Where'd that hit? Should have got a limb driver. Don't be a chuck. Get a limb driver. Yeah. Where's he at? Back in the rear. You gotta stand up and see. 
Down. He's down. Uh, Where's he at? He's down. He fell down. You seen? Yeah, he's down. Kicking. <laughs> that was quick. Is he down? Well, he came in this morning. Brian had two two good bucks. One was a big four by. Yeah. <clears throat> and one was a real wide, old, real old deer. That's just a three by, but he's cool and he's real wide. So we decided coming up here, whichever one we seen first. If we seen him, we were gonna take him. And we just smoked the big three by. Congratulations. Brian Clark, High Voltage Outfitters. That is a cool looking buck. You know what? And tip to tip, he is wide as That's what be. he just lays out. He's just goofy. He just won't score for anything, but don't necessarily oh, want cool, him though. doing a lot of breeding, but yeah, he's just just a one of a kind. I think yeah, you guys good. brought him from back east and get a little white tail blood. <laughs> oh, he's, he's totally different. <laughs> he's just weird. <clears throat> I've never shot one like this. It's just goofy. I've shot several mule deer, but this is a cool looking deer. I mean, it's completely different it's than anything I've nothing, shot. Nothing like you'll ever <clears throat> see. Nope. bringing that for? I got the big camera. You'll see. Did you get it? No. I did. Tacticam. Share your hunt. You ready yet? I broke my razor. Try this. Now that's razor sharp. Dead ringer. There will be blood. Stepping up, he's walking into the others. He's walking behind the cow. There's
there's a spike to the front of him. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Get, get ready. ready. Right, everybody ready? I'm gonna stop him. Wait, not yet. There's weeds. Tell me where. Okay. And he's on. <laughs> First evening here in Colorado hunting with Brian Clark, high voltage outfitters. It's been a real tough season for them. All the elk moved off the mountain earlier and they're down their private land <clears throat> below them in the river bottom. So Brian told me coming into this, the first time we see a legal bull or a nice five by five, we need to take it. And sure enough, this one came out with some cows, put a great shot on him at about 400 yards with a Bagheera, put a follow up shot on him and here I am beside a beautiful Colorado elk. First night, high voltage outfitters. I always get it done with Brian. Harvesting mature whitetails on a consistent basis is no easy task. Stack the odds in your favor with a premier Killer Food Plots blend growing in your favorite hunting location. Killer Food Plots, setting a new standard in wildlife nutritional products. You reap what you sow. This week we're going to talk about the Ozone Go from Scent Crusher. It's a revolutionary vehicle air cleaner. As hunters, we do everything possible in our scent elimination process, from washing our clothes in dead down wind, using our scent crusher gear bags to transport them to the field, and even spraying down before we go into the field. But one big thing that we're missing is our vehicles. We use it all year long, take our pets out, get fuel in it, hunting, everything we do, we're adding odor into our vehicles. Simply plug the Ozone Go in your vehicle for 30 minutes and it's going to kill food, pet, and smoke odors, as well as kill bacteria and viruses in your vehicle. It's completely maintenance free and has a 5 year ozone generator. If you're ready to take your scent elimination to the next level and be as scent free as you can, you got to get a vehicle air cleaner. Make sure and check out the Ozone Go as well as all their other great products at ScentCrusher.com. You know, we've hunted with Brian a lot, and Brad, who used to be my cameraman, went out there and started working for him. And while he was out there, they decided they wanted to be a trial team and actually try to film for us. Yeah, they take a lot of animals every year, and it was a no-brainer to make them a trial team. They wanted to do it as, as three people, Brad, Brian, and Brian's brother, Aaron. But Aaron may be a little nervous in front of the camera. Yeah, I think normally he's a slam dunk, but he had a little issues this time. Well, it's our second evening here hunting with Brian Clark, high voltage outfitters in Colorado. I shot a great three by three buck. It's old, mature. Brian had been watching it for a few years, so we tuck it out this morning. His little brother, Aaron, he's got a tag now, so we got another buck. We just spot him, he's bedded down. We're gonna put a stock on him, and Aaron's gonna get it done tonight.
welcome a new call. Tickle Rattler, it's new. You do anything right? That's how you call the big bucks in. Cherokee Sports. Solutions for the sportsman. Hey, can I use your grizzly again? No. A cooler for a lifetime, no matter how you treat it. You know, everybody thinks that you just make a show and, oh, all these clips just line up, but it's hours and hours of filming. One thing I have no doubt of is they're going to be on a lot of animals and a lot of big animals all year. Should be awesome. You know, Brian manages that herd perfect, so Aaron drew a tag, but he was gonna let him shoot a call buck, because Aaron just wanted to meet, he, you know, he just has fun killing stuff. Yeah, those guys, one thing's for sure, when they go to the woods, they're shooting something. Or, in Aaron's case, shooting at something. <laughs> You know, I was there that first day that Aaron got on that deer, but I had a flight home because I had to get back to work, so they were going to try it themselves. We ended up taking a day off. We had to run James back to the airport for him to fly back home to Indiana, so we're back at it. Again this morning, we spotted that buck not too far from where we saw him the first time, so we're going to put the stock on him and see if we can seal the deal. You know, the reason why we go there, as you know, is Brian is really strict about his management program. And if there's a buck that's, you know, doesn't look right, doesn't think he's gonna score well down the road, he goes ahead and takes him out. He didn't move an inch. No, nope. went right down. Really like it. Good deal. So this is a buck that we've had on one of the ranches that we manage here in Colorado. We've been watching him for quite a while and he just he's just not a buck that we want doing the breeding this year. So we decided to take him as a management buck. Aaron was nice enough to uh, accommodate us on that. He's a nice buck, he's got a good frame, he's got pretty good starts on his front forks, but he's just so weak on these back back forks that he just just not something genetically we're looking for. So we'd like to try to manage for some of these better quality deer. And this was one that we felt was just a good one to, to get out of our herd before the rut started. We're, we're still kind of pre-rut. We're not, not really chasing a lot, and, and it just worked out good that we were able to come in, harvest this deer, and uh, he'll, he'll look good at Aaron's house, and he'll eat good for sure. Definitely. Next week, we're still in Colorado with High Voltage Outfitters, and I'm up to bat next.
What's your favorite thing about the site? Multifunctional. Closed captioning brought to you by... What's yours? Accuracy. Spot Hog, world's toughest archery product. We also want to thank these fine sponsors.